All right, what's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. And would you have a look at this? Six plus Zoro V2 is coming to One Piece Treasure Cruise Japan. I don't know if it's actually out right now. I'm not really too sure because one thing that needs a little bit of clarification here is the fact that Zoro has like specific skulls, which means that you don't need the normal skulls from ambush fights, which in turn means that you need to get these skulls from somewhere specific, whether it be the Kizuna shop, which is a new thing on JP, whether there's a farmable island, we need a little a bit more clarification on this but anyways like yeah this is 100 v2 zoro super evolution which is kind of weird because jp only just had blackbeard i mean I, I swear blackbeard was only like a couple weeks ago and now we're already having six plus zoro so they're really just stacking you know back to back super evolutions here which is cool though i like to see the super evolutions and there's still characters in the game that deserve super evolutions but that's not the only thing we're going to be talking about in this video there is a brand new sugo fest on jp which introduces this new chiffon which is a kizuna rare recruit and we have sanji and pudding now if you guys saw my video that I just uploaded just before, which was about the new 10.3 update on JP. I did mention at right at the end of the video that these were characters coming, and we didn't know if they were legends, but there's full confirmation that Sanji and Pudding, as you can see right here, they are a Sugo Fest exclusive character, and I have the information to share with you guys today, and I also have information on the brand new Kazuna Rare Recruit. So there's lots of stuff to get through. Um, this is the original information for Zoro, so we could go through this and compare and contrast with his brand new Super Evolution abilities. Now. Mind you, that the, the translated abilities that we have here are the one without his expansion. And on the database, there's no expansion captain effect here yet, but there is a, com a confirmed like uh, captain effect upgrade for Zoro. So whatever you see in this video for Zoro, just think that it is going to be slightly better with his expansion. But Zoro previously was a 3.25 attack, 1.5 health. Dex and Int are beneficial for slashes. And then if they have a Dex or Int, or they get a 4.06 boost instead. I'm not really a big fan of this. The fact that they have to have a Dex or Int Orb. That was one of the big problems with the unit. And we'll talk about what they did to kind of alleviate that um, in a little bit. As for his special, 120 times his attack was already a lot of damage, and you'll see what happens next. Recovery in tandem a beneficial for three turns, and then a two times attack to slashes, and then if you hit four perfects, it's a 2.25 in the following turn. So that's what we had previously, and then this is uh, Zoro, and then he's, uh, he's, all of his abilities are here, right? So let's go through his translations. So Zoro... This is what he does. His captain effect will boost slashes by 3.25, 1.5 health, and reduce damage taken by 10%. So this is a new addition to his captain effect, the 10% damage reduction. So with a 1.5 HP and 10% damage reduction, that's really freaking good. On top of that, dex and int are beneficial to slasher characters and increases the chances of you landing on a dex or int slot. This is a, a similar effect to V2 Mihawk. He makes the, the chance of landing on dex and int um, much higher. So I don't know how high of an increase this is going to be because you can see here at the end of his captain effect boost slash a character's attack by a further 1.3 when they have a dex or int slot so it goes up to a 4.225 with a dex or int slot whereas before it was a 4.06 so it is a pretty decent upgrade from 4.06 to 4.225 with his captain effect now this is the base captain effect without the expansion so with the expansion i expect him to be probably a 4.5 maybe 4.6 multiplier so that's actually pretty good but it all comes down to how high of an increase are these decks and int orbs going to be appearing because if they appear like way more often this captain effect is actually super duper solid so I'm, I'm, I'm actually very interested to see how this character performs as a captain but let's have a look at his special his special now deals 200 times his attack in typeless damage to all enemies so that's up from 120 times to 200 times so he does crazy, crazy damage. He still makes recovery in tandem matching for three turns and then boosts the attack of slashes by 2.25 for one turn. So his first activation is going to be a 2.25 boost. It's pretty good. And then if you land three perfects, he's going to be again a 2.25 in the following turn. So a couple things about this is the fact that the problem with Zora in the, in the past was when you launch his special, you need to hit four perfects to get the boost in the following turn. And remember, when you launch his special, he does a lot of damage upon that activation. So in a lot of situations, you wouldn't even be able to get your boost in the following turn just because you do so much damage upon activation. Plus, with all your boost active, it's really hard to hit all four perfects to get the boost in the following turn. So what they've done here is it's only been a three perfects to get the boost in the following turn, but they actually upped the damage multiplier. So I, I don't know how I feel about this. I still think it's going to be pretty tricky in order for this character to get his boost in the following turn. What I would have preferred is if they just remove the damage altogether and then potentially have a piece of utility. That would have been super sick. Like maybe instead of this, maybe it's like reduce five turns of, I don't know, 
uh, damage reduction or remove three turns of barrier and then do the rest of his effects. I think that would have been a really, really cool update to the character. But what they've done here is just made the, the, the requirement is just a little less. So that's Zoro. Uh, personally speaking, I don't think he's going to be making waves in the community. I don't think he's a god-tier super evolution. It just makes the character slightly better than what he once was. I don't think he's going to be seeing as much play as some of the other super evolutions in the game. But look, it's a decent update. It's nothing game-breaking. It's just okay, right? Um, let's move on to the Kizuna Rare Recruit, and we'll finish off with the brand new Sugar Fest exclusive. So, the, the, the Kizuna Rare Recruit is this Chiffon right here. So, Chiffon's effects, her special will reduce Bind, Despair, and Paralysis by 5. It's very good. Recover 15 times her recovery. Changes Empty, Block, Bomb, Recovery, Tandem, and G-Orbs into matching. And then, if your captain is Cerebral or Free Spirit, extends Color Affinity buff by one turn. Wow, dude. This is actually super good. You know, before making this video, I didn't even read what this character did. By the way, shout out to Blazing Gamer for the translations of this chiffon, and I, I did make the other translations for um, the other two characters, but shout out to Blazing Gamer. This is very good, because I know what the other character does, and seeing this, whew, this character is very good. This character is a very, very good unit, and this can work with Vivi Rebecca to make it a three-turn color affinity boost. This can work with a lot of good units, dude. The orb manipulation is fantastic, utility is great, healing, like, this unit is so good. Okay, what is her support? Capone and Lola, once per adventure when the support character uses an orb conversion special, reduces paralysis by two turns and recover 3,000. Orb conversion special. Uh, I can't think of any Capones off the top of my head that changes orbs around. Maybe the one from the Luffy Sanji batch. I think he might be an orb changer. I can't remember because I, I goddamn know that Legend Capone ain't an orb changer. So I don't know how much play this is going to see, but hey, the special is the main thing here. So that's pretty cool. So let's get to the meat and potatoes of the video, which is going to be the brand new Sugo Fest character, the Sugo Fest exclusive. Putting in Sanji. Now, I want to get this out of the way. I am not a fan of the fact that Luffy, uh, not Luffy, Sanji and Pudding are a legend here. Um, because we just had Luffy Sanji like a couple months back on JP, and we're already getting another legend Sanji that's also a dual unit in the same arc as Luffy and Sanji. Like, ugh. like personally speaking, I would have preferred it if. It was just a solo pudding as a V2 rather than make it a duel with Sanji. Because if you guys don't know, the last time that we received a Sugo Fest exclusive Zoro was literally New Year's last year when it was Luffy, Zoro, and Sober Mask release. Since then, we had the Sober Mask come alongside that, then Luffy, Sanji, and we've also had this Sanji pudding. So I don't know what's going on, but Treasure Cruise just loves Sanji at the moment, and we don't get any love for Zoro, so I don't know what's going on, man. We really need some more Zora love. I mean, we got the 6 plus Zora here, but hey, this doesn't compare to what this unit can do. So I just want to say I'm pretty upset at the fact that this is another Sanji legend because we just had one. Uh, but after you see what he does, you can kind of offset it because this character is very, very good. So let's get into the into the details here. So we've got Sanji and Pudding. So we've got uh, Fighter and Cerebral. So let's get to their effects here. So they're dual captain. I don't have their singular captains. These are just their dual captains. Boosts fighter and cerebral characters by five times. Just a flat five times boost. HP by 1.35, recovery by 1.5, and reduced damage taken by 10%. If you just have this alone, this is already a god tier captain effect. The fact that you have so much, well, I wouldn't say it's like so much health, but it's a pretty substantial health boost. You have recovery of 1.5. This is so good. A lot of people underrate recovery boosts. This is absurd. This is very, very good. I mean, if you've got double Sanji pudding, when you eat a recovery orb, you're going to be healing for like 7,000 or something like that. It's absurd. And you just have damage reduction on top of it. Wow. And then also strength decks quicker matching for, for all characters. Like... <laughs> this is very good. I mean, of course, there is the, the downside of this character only boosts fighter and cerebral. I like that because I, I much prefer class boosting captains compared to color captains. I'm actually happy at the fact that it is a class boosting captain. I would have been pretty upset if it was just, you know, a rainbow captain or if it was just, uh, you know, strength decks quick captain. I, I, I like that it's a fighter and cerebral captain. I do enjoy that. But, um... <laughs> this is very good captain effect. I just wish it wasn't a Sanji unit, man. I just wish it wasn't Sanji. Let's get to their special. So this special recovers 15,000 HP, and it completely removes all turns of enemy damage threshold and damage reduction. Does this remind you of anything? It reminds me a lot of Vivian Rebecca, um, because 
Uh, then we get a follow-up on the side. Appreciate that. Um, but we have the fact that it just removes damage threshold and damage reduction completely. Now, Vivi Rebecca, when you use their special, they remove damage reduction completely, but they remove uh, increased defense completely. But now this character is a unit that can just remove all of threshold, all of rainbow shield, upon activation which is fantastic and then very similar to vivian rebecca they also are a color affinity booster for two turns for fighter and cerebral characters 2.25 for two turns it's very very good and then also become the sanji and pudding for three turns dude this is a very powerful unit man i can't believe it this unit is one of the best units in the game like not even kidding this unit beats out so many characters it's absurd um Wow, this is very good. So this character switch effect is very unique. So let's have a look at it. It completely removes their own despair, their own paralysis, and their own slot bind. And then on top of that, changes their own orb, including block into matching. This actually, this whole effect just reminds me of Luffy and Ace. I think Luffy and Ace do almost the exact same thing. Despair, paralysis, their own slot bind, and give themselves a matching orb. It, it's very similar to that. I don't think they get rid of block orbs though, but... That's that's good, right? And then on top of that, that this really cool mechanic where it says recovers 25% of the damage taken in the previous battle. So this is very reminiscent of like Legend Hawkins and V2 Katakuri, where whenever they take damage and then they move on to the next battle or the next stage, they recover a certain percentage of the damage that they just took. And this is what they can do just with their switch effect. So this unit is so tanky. I mean, the only downside to this unit is they don't have the overheal mechanic, which is what Luffy and Sanji have. But then again, you can go ahead and partner this character up with a Luffy and Sanji to get the overheal mechanic. So, uh, like, I really don't like the fact that it's Sanji, which I've already talked about, but this unit is good. Like, you can't deny the power of this unit. Actually, let me have a look at that. Okay, they do have the hunger uh, limit break ability, which I don't like because their tablets, uh, are their tablets even available in the game yet? I don't know, JP players can let me know. So to rainbow this character out is very difficult, but I mean, pinch healing is good, recovery by resistance makes a lot of sense. This unit is based on recovery, damage reduction, and just dealing a crap load of damage. So that's Luffy and Sanji, no Luffy, I keep saying Luffy Sanji just because of how good they are, but this is Sanji and Pudding, should I say, and uh, they are going to be available in the upcoming Kizuna Sugo Fest, man. They're very, very good. So there we go. We've got uh, the brand new 6 plus Zora, Chiffon, and then putting in Sanji. So that's going to conclude this video for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. So let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts about these characters. I mean, V2 Zora, I wish he was a, a little bit better. I don't like the fact that he still requires a Dex and Int slot to get that boost. I just wish it was just a matching slot. Chiffon's very good. And then, I mean, the disappointing character choices for putting in Sanji, but the actual abilities of the unit are impressive so that's going to conclude this one i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did make sure to leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video